Yeah. My name is Marlene Forte, and I get to play Carmen Ramos on the new TNT Dallas. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. <laughs> What attracted to me to the role was how well it was written. Again, you know, at first, we'll go into that a little bit. Um, at first, I was like, really, the maid? Um, but I picked up this script, and I, I just, of course I knew these people because I grew up watching them, but I knew Carmen. I knew Carmen. I just knew her. I, I could hear her. The words, again, just, you know, they fell out of my tongue onto Cynthia. <laughs> I mean, I was like, oh, I know this person. And the sweetest and best thing that's happened to me so far uh, of this whole thing, besides meeting Larry Hagman, is um, at the day that we did the, uh, the read-through. You know, so I, I go in there at the end of, after they saw everybody, because it was almost the end of pilot season, and I was like, okay, obviously I don't, they don't want to see me for this. Um, I, I went in there, I booked it. And we do the, the first reading at the studio, and I sit down, and Cynthia comes up to me. She says, save a seat next to me. And I say, oh, cool, you know, for the Cuban, Cuban contingency. And um, I save a seat, and she comes up to me, and she says, do you know how many people we saw for this? And I was like, I heard, because I couldn't get seen. And, uh, and she said, I think she said to me what she said about everyone else. You know, everyone that walked in the room, they knew. And there's Josh, and there's and sh and then she said when you walked out, I said, and that's Carmen finally. <laughs> so I, you know, Sounds I'm like gonna carry that with me. <laughs> now obviously you you talked about reservations playing the role at first. Did, did you have any? Uh... Not when I read it. The minute that I read that script, the only reservation was, and I have to say, it's it's a little bit of an ego thing. You know, you 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 hear people like Lupe Antevera, and you hear people like. I mean, you know, we've been playing, the, you know, we play the maid, the maid, the maid, the maid. Again, I have no problems playing the maid as long as we get a shot to play other things. And that's so beautifully peppered in this show that, listen, it took me a long time to actually read it because of my preconceptions and my ego. And uh, when I read it, I put it down and there was no doubt that I was not going to be in this show. That was my role. What happened to poor old Teresa? Did she burn the chili and get fired? <laughs> I have her in the basement. She's tied up. <laughs> With Raul. It's like American Horror Story. <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, I don't know what happened to Teresa. I'm sticking to the... I like your story. I say that I married Teresa's brother, Teresa's brother, and... After Teresa, after my, my husband died, Teresa couldn't take it anymore and took off. And I like America. I decided to stay because of my daughter. And the Hewings were as um, loving as they are. They said, you stay on. Exactly. I don't know, but I'm going to stick to that. <laughs> Except JR, who was getting very depressed around that time. Yeah, you know? well, it's good because he went into the hospital and I didn't have to deal with him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you would have. I don't like it when he comes back. I don't like it when he comes back. <laughs> Things shift in my house. <laughs> Talk about the backstory to Carmen and Elena, just just for the. Uh... Well, um, a lot of the backstory is still up uh, in the air. Um, I I know that I arrived when Elena was about nine. I know that my husband was killed on an oil rig. Um, I know that I've been working for this family. And I'm extremely loyal to this family. Um, it's really as much as I know. Cynthia's kept me a little bit in the dark, too, about this. So, I like the story. I'm going to stick with your story. I'm going to really root for that. P push that with Cynthia. I want to push that with Cynthia. Um, <laughs> it's true. I want to push that with Cynthia. And it's funny because even when I was shooting the pilot, um, I still wasn't aware of that I was married or not. And we had... Um, it's like nobody knows if Ray, who, who Ray is married. Well, to, you know, I'm married in life, so and, and whenever I can wear my actual rings on the set, I do, on wherever I'm shooting. So I remember um, thinking, um, I don't know if I'm married or not, so I, I have two sets of rings. I wear two rings on both hands, and I took the big diamonds off because, you know, these people have no, no I mean, I'm not wealthy in that way. Um, but I kept both of them on in the pilot because I didn't have enough, 
I have, didn't have a chance really to sit down and talk to Cynthia about where this was going, and I, everything was so fast. Again, you know, I got cast at the last minute, and, and you were shooting by the end of April. And yeah, the so I really, in my own head, as an actress, thought, you know what, I'm just going to make it. I could be married or not married. You know, it doesn't say. So when I, by the time I came back, um, they had given me a lot more storyline, and, and I was like, oh, okay. So I've been here since early I was nine. I've been so at that point. I had read more episodes and I had a little bit of an idea of where this was going. But what I went in with mm -hmm. for the audition and what I went in with and what I still stick to through the storyline is, again, this woman is the heart of this family, this woman. I always say, whoever feeds you and washes you, they run you. So I, you know, I, I go with that. It's, you know, I have a lot of love and respect for this family. And I want my daughter to succeed in this country, like all immigrants. Mm -hmm. You know, an immigrant parent would want. And right. uh, I make it a point that she's. You Weren't know, we all immigrants at one point? At, at some point, but I'm very. You know, yeah. Carmen is a very first, very uh, strong immigrant. And and even in the pilot, there was a moment. I don't remember now if it stayed in where she comes to help me, and I say, No, you don't work here. I saw that in the script. You know, you don't work here. You go and you you. I'm I I work here. You're, you don't do that. You're team John Ross or team Christopher? Aha! <laughs> Come on. Team Elena. <laughs> I'm team Elena. I'm out for my daughter and team Ewings. I, I, I fiercely protect that family. I think that that's, what, that's where Carmen comes from, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's funny how they, they'll battle each other, but as soon as the outside world attacks them, they band together and put all those differences. Yeah. Which is... Which is my conflict, Carmen's conflict, even Marlene, when I play it with the character of Josh, because I feel like I've seen this young man grow up too. Mm -hmm. um, and even though I prefer Christopher for my daughter, it's not like I don't love this young man. I've, I've seen him growing up too. So, you know, I feed these people. I make sure they're their beds are made, I make sure their house runs, so it's like I tell Cynthia, that's my house. Yeah. I am the shortest person in that in that house, but I am the one with the biggest mouth, <laughs> the one that really Just like opinionated. Lucy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lucy was always there to stick a fork in JR's... Uh... Yeah, so, so to me, I fiercely protect these children. That's why when you say, what team am I on? I'm on the... I'm on the, the the, my daughter right. and on the, 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 the family who employs me. Now, now obviously you watched the original show. I did. What were your, were you addicted or who was your favorite character? Um, JR, of course. Um, <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, you know, he, Larry did something in creating this evil person, this JR. <laughs> <laughs> that nobody has ever done. It's the laugh, it's, and I'll tell you, Josh Anderson, it's the thing in his, it's his glitter, it's that little twinkle in his eye, it's that little evil. <laughs> and that's a tough role to follow up. You know, Josh Anderson is doing an amazing job being just as evil. And he's a goofball. As his camera. dad. Well, he's such a sweetheart and a right. gentleman, yeah. He's nothing he's, like this. But neither is Larry. Right. I mean, come on. The sweetest, funniest people play the meanest people on TV. How, how has it been working with Larry, Linda, Patrick, uh, the original? It's It's been fantastic. Charlene. Charlene. Steve. Charlene was a treat because, and it's so funny because her character is very well loved. And when I booked this job um, back in LA, everyone kept saying, is Charlene in it? I hear Charlene is in it. And I was like, I, I didn't get to meet her until we did the, the party at South Fork. Right. So, uh, I, I didn't even know she would be in it until that point. Um, my biggest, biggest, you know, thrill again, which I said earlier, was to work with Larry Hagman, who to me was, you know, Major Nelson, not 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 just Jr. So um, I grew up having a huge. I was a little girl, and I was like, I want to marry someone like Major Nelson. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so it was a it was a real treat, and and so excited that I got to actually have scenes with him, and. Um, and then Linda and Patrick. And Linda and Patrick. And Patrick is so handsome. He's aging so beautifully. I went there, that was the first thing I remember seeing. I was like, oh my God, he's still so sexy. <laughs> and the younger cast working with? Well, it's 
pretty eye candy, I gotta tell you. We have the best looking cast. <laughs> Just look at your shower curtain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hello. It's really back, nice, <laughs> it's really nice to come to work. Um, you know, Jesse's one of the most, I mean, you know, the prettiest man. I, I, I remember when I first got to work with him, the first scene that we did, which was that scene where I say, you see what you did, right? And I kept looking at him. Now, I've seen him on TV before, you know, I know his work, but to be in the room with him and opposite acting with him, I kept thinking, God, you are so good looking, you know, you're just so pretty. And so, you know, that was a little distracting at first. And then Josh, is this, he's got that smoldering, those eyes, you know, and I'm like, I'm supposed to hate you. That's right. I don't like you. I have to keep thinking I don't like you. But he's such a nice person, too. Working with... Cynthia, talk about Cynthia, just her, what she's brought to this whole project. Well, I think not Michael only... Michael Robin. Yeah, not, not only to the... You know, I think... I love her work from before. You know, I love Kane, I love Mumbo King, I love, I love well, I her. I liked Kane. I'm yeah. a big fan of her work, so... And being a woman and being Latina and the fact that she's not just any Latina, she happens to be my people, um, I'm just proud as hell. And I, again, I can't tell you that feeling of reading that pilot and saying, oh my God, oh my God, a woman wrote this. Um, and I could tell just by the way the women are written. You know, they're very strong women in this show. You know, Brenda looks great holding that gun. <laughs> you know, and... Bullets and don't seem to have much of an effect on me. All of us, yeah. <laughs> all of us are really, really... Um, well-rounded women and um, I think that's because it was written by a woman. Well, social media plays a part in all of this right now. It's not just Dallas. It's, it, it has to be. It has to be. You, you have to have a Facebook if you're in this business at all or if you're, you know, and I mean, tweet, tweet, tweeting is even a younger phenomenon, you know, younger crowd, like, you know, the, but the, it's necessary. Now the Instagram pictures that posting there. On, on what? On the Twitter? On the face, fa Facebook page? Uh, both. Or? It shows on Instagram. I guess it's like an iPhone thing. Oh, but, is it? Oh. Because we don't have iPhone. No, no, no. We don't have iPhone. So, but, um, Apple didn't pay me enough to sp sponsor them. So. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to get more and more. I mean, that's just the way we live right now. That's a necessary part of what we do now. Where do you see yourself going in season two? Well, um... I, you know, I don't know. I, I think it all depends, and this is the producer, and I'm going to put a producer hat on, the producer in me. It really depends on, I think it's going to be how many um, people they can wrangle up from the original scene. I think, I think Carmen is definitely going to be there. Again, Carmen runs this house. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to give anything away. I think they, she set me up really nicely at the end of the season, so I'm definitely coming back. Um, mm -hmm. You've been, but, there, you've been there since Elena was nine. So exactly. You know. I'm not going anywhere. Um, but, but um, again, you know, I want to be the Benson. You remember that show? I, I, I'd like to say that Carmen is the Benson in the, does that mean, in the Ewing family. Does that mean Victoria Prince was going to turn up like the ghost of Jessica Tate? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That all depends on where Cynthia wants to take this. But... Um, I don't think I'm going anywhere. I think I'm just going to be there loving this family and trying to guide them as, as, as well and as much as someone who works, you know, as an employer, as an employee can do. I also don't think they treat me as an employee. I think they really allow me to speak freely, which mm -hmm. is fun for the actor and um, I'm sure fun for Cindy to write because everyone is so intense in this show. And uh, not that Carmen isn't intense, but she has a really good sense of humor. Any messages to the Ultimate Dallas people out there that have just been... Um, I think um, I think if you uh, approach this with an open mind and with the knowledge that 21 years has passed and that life moves on and that there's a whole new set of players and um, I like to say, like I like to say is like, remember the Ewings? Well, they're still at it. And they've passed on all their nasty little things to their children. <laughs> That's what I'll say to them. <laughs>